In my last video, I showed you all why I was on a no buy. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. But I showed you guys why I was on a no buy. So this video, I am showing you guys the fragrances that I purchased on my no buy. <laughs> if you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, these were fragrances that I purchased during my no buy. And yeah, so obviously I failed, right? <laughs> Obviously I failed. So I think I'm done now though. I think I am done. Cross your fingers. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say I'm on a complete fragrance no buy because this is kind of a job for me at this point. And so part of that is buying fragrances. So I'm not going to say I'm on a complete no buy, but I am definitely on a slow buy when it comes to fragrances. I don't have a number set in my head. I'm just saying that I have been, since I purchased these, all of these are probably about two weeks old, except for what I'm wearing today. But all of these are about two weeks old. So since I purchased these, I have not purchased anything else. And I am definitely thinking through every single thing that comes to my head that I want to buy. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So we're gonna start with the fragrance that I'm actually wearing today. And this fragrance was actually sent to me and it's the only one that was sent to me out of this entire video. And this is actually my first time wearing it. So this is from Dior and this is the new Dior Riviera. This is a Francis Kirkjean creation. You know, he is now the head of perfume. I'm not sure if his exact job title, but he's over their fragrances. He is their master perfumer, their in-house perfumer. He took over for Francois Dimachi. So this is his creation under the Dior name. And so I've been really wanting to try this. So I was happy to be able to receive this. This video, by the way, is not sponsored, but I was happy to be able to receive this and I am wearing it today. In the very next video that you see from me, you will see my raw first impressions of this fragrance. So make sure you watch that video if you're interested. But so far, what I think of it is that it is a fresh green uh, floral scent, very appropriate for summertime, unisex, slight bit of sweetness, so far so good i just sprayed this on probably like 10 20 minutes ago so i don't have much more to say about it other than that so make sure you watch my next video so you can get my full first impressions of it and then of course stay tuned to my channel because obviously i will end up talking about this fragrance some more but so far so good again that's dior riviera from dior this next fragrance is from quinta canto and this is ck so this fragrance I have not worn yet. I've had it for a couple weeks, but I haven't actually worn it yet. I have sprayed it on skin, but I have limited knowledge on it because I haven't full body worn it. So I do really like it. It smells to me like some sort of berries, um, maybe like raspberry or something. And then it smells a little bit of sweet, a little bit tart, but I also get this watery floral note in this fragrance as well. This is interesting. I don't really know how to describe this. I don't really know what I think about it yet. I'm not sure that it's a love for me, but it is a like. It does smell interesting. I think it will be good for summertime. And I like that the berries in here are not super sweet. They're not cloying at all. This is more on the tart, fresher side, but it has those sweeter notes. But because of the way it's made, it kind of has this watery or almost like airy quality. It's really beautiful. I just need to actually wear this one to be able to tell y'all more about it. But so far I do like it. I'll have to keep y'all up to date. Again, this is just a haul video. So I'm sure you all will be hearing more about these fragrances from me in upcoming videos or on my Instagram. So again, that is CK from Quinta Canto. The next fragrance that I have is from Tiziana Terenzi, which is actually a sister company to Quinta Canto. They have the same perfumer, but this one is Talea. Now this one I have done a video all about 
that I will link for you all. But long story short, this smells like a tropical fruit, but clean smelling fragrance. So there's something very like clean air about this fragrance, but then it's mixed with these sweet tropical fruits. This definitely puts me in a summer mindset. I could see myself wearing this on vacation, out on a hot day anywhere. Um, it's beautiful and it's not really what I expected, but I do really enjoy the smell of it. So definitely if you want to know more about this fragrance, check out my video that I will link for you all. But again, that is Tiziana Terenzi Talea. This next fragrance is another one from Tiziana Terenzi and this is Orza. So for the longest time, I could not decide between Talea and Orza. I was going back and forth on which one I wanted and I'm talking about like over a year y'all, <laughs> over a year. But you can see I just ended up finally putting myself out of my misery and buying both of them. So <laughs> Unfortunately, both of these were blind buys for me. Don't do as I do and blind buy these fragrances. See if you can smell them in store, see if you can get a sample because they are expensive. But I did blind buy them. Yes, I did. Um, thankfully, I was able to get somewhat of a deal on them. I got a better deal on Talea that I talk about in that video about it. Um, but I also got a little bit of a deal on Orza. And I have to say, I have not worn Orza yet but so far i love the way this smells so to me what i get is um this beautiful like caramel that's the first thing that stands out to me caramel it kind of smells like there's some coconut in here but this is not a sunscreen type scent but yeah it just smells very beachy but it has that caramel and it also has some sort of tropical fruits in here i cannot wait to wear this the reason i haven't worn it yet is because when i smelled it i was like immediately in love this is like a love at first sniff Take it with a grain of salt, y'all. I haven't worn it. <laughs> but it was an immediate love at first sniff. And to me, it felt too special to just wear to the grocery store, y'all. <laughs> so I was saving it to wear it somewhere nice. I mean, it doesn't have to be super nice, but like at least go out to lunch, not just hang around my house. This smells like I should be doing something sort of fun. So I will wear this at some point this week. I'm not saving it forever. I'm just saving it until I actually get out of my house and do something. But it is gorgeous, y'all. I love it. I think this is going to be great for hot weather, day or night. I feel like it has enough sweetness that it will stand up in the nighttime. And I really, really like the way that this smells. So again, that is Orza from Tiziana Terenzi. This next fragrance is from Nishane and this is Ani X. Now I have already talked about this in another video, but when I do my hauls, I like to include all the new fragrances because I know some of y'all only watch haul videos. I don't know why, but some of y'all only watch my haul videos. So I already talked about this in a video kind of in depth. I will link that video for you all. But in this video, I will tell you how it smells. So Ani X smells like the original Ani. So you get that beautiful ginger, citrusy, vanilla scent. Um, to me, this one does smell a little bit spicier, a little bit more well-rounded, maybe a little bit deeper as well. But it's an absolutely gorgeous scent. Wears really, really well. I'm happy to have this in my collection. I'm excited to wear this. I'm thinking this will be more of my nighttime Ani, whereas the other one will be more of my daytime Ani. I really don't know, but check out that video if you wanna know more about this fragrance, but I am super happy to have this in my collection. So again, that is Ani X from Nishane. Also in that same video, I talked about this one, which is 100 Silent Ways X. So y'all check out that video. It was a really good video. <laughs> But this fragrance I also enjoy. It is a fruity floral vanilla scent. This one does have a bit of a leathery touch to it, but it's not leather that is overpowering, but it's definitely present. Love this one. Definitely more of a nighttime fragrance, I think, for me. Or it could be more of a fall winter take on 100 Silent Ways for me as well. So if you want to know more, check out that video. But again, this is 100 Silent Ways X by Nishane. This next fragrance is one that I've been wanting for a while, but I felt like it was too risky of a blind buy and this is not one I have seen in store. This fragrance has been out for maybe a year. I don't know if it's been that long, but it finally has hit some discounters. And when I came across it at a discount, I went ahead and scooped it up. So this is Chelsea Knights from Bond Number no. 9. And y'all, I have to say, I was scared to blind buy this. I don't remember the notes right offhand, but I feel like it has hazelnut in it. 
could be wrong, but hazelnut doesn't always sit right with me. It sometimes smell off to me. So I wasn't quite sure. And I don't think Bond is a good house to blind buy from. So I have to say that when I got this bottle in and I sprayed it, I was scared, okay? And I have to say y'all, I was scared for no reason at all. I love the way this smells. It smells amazing. So to me, when I smell this, I've only worn it one time, but when I smell it, I feel like I get some sort of coffee caramel scent along with a lot of different spices. It does smell nutty. I don't know if it's hazelnut or chestnut or what, but it definitely has this nutty vibe to it. But overall, it just is really well blended. It's a sweet, spicy, nutty scent that is right up my alley. Now, I do think this is probably better suited for cold weather however i'm not gonna be able to wait that long so i will definitely be pulling this out at night when it's hot i don't think it's too overpowering the time that i wore this i just wore it around my house and then to bed so it wasn't out in the elements but i don't think it's too overpowering that i couldn't wear it out and about at night so i really love the way this smells i'm super happy that i was able to get this on a discount at that but i mean if i would have sprung for a full price on this i don't think i would have been disappointed it smells amazing. I don't know if it's still available at a discount, but if it is, y'all know I will link it below. Check out my description box. I always try to find good prices if I can, um, but you know, that's not always promised. So check out my description box if you're interested in any of the fragrances I talk about, but I am so happy to have this in my collection. It's really good. So again, that is Chelsea Nights from Bond Number Nine. This next fragrance is from Initio and this is High Frequency. So this fragrance has been on my radar for a while, but it has a lot of florals in it. So to me, it was a risky blind buy and I had never gotten a chance to smell it in person. My name and Marcus here sells Initio, but I don't go there very often. And when I went there last time, I didn't get around to smelling this one. I was smelling a lot of different things and I didn't smell this one. However, I got a sample of this with another purchase and I finally pulled out that sample and sprayed it on myself and fell in love, y'all. This is gorgeous. So it is a beautiful like almond type scent. It's like an almondy floral. I'm not sure if almond is a note or heliotrope is a note because I know sometimes heliotrope gives off that same like almondy smell. But to me, what I get is an almondy floral smells a slight bit fizzy but it doesn't really go that soda direction so if you don't like those type of hypnotic poison almonds i don't think it's that this is much more elegant to me and it's beautiful but there's something about this i've worn this only one time as far as full body i had the sample so i sprayed that on my arms like quite a few times but full body i've worn this one time and there is something just so addictive about this. I don't know if it's the sweetness in this, but there is something that when I wear it, it just makes me want to keep smelling myself. And I find that is the case with a lot of the Initio fragrances. Maybe it's the Hedion. I think they use Hedion in a lot of their fragrances, which is supposed to have that type of addictive or attracting quality. I don't know, but it's working on me. This is one that I cannot stop smelling whenever I wear it. And I don't know why, because to me, it's a relatively simple scent, although really well done. But it, to me, it smells better than what it looks like it will smell on paper. Like if you look at the notes, to me, it smells better than that, <laughs> especially on the skin. So love this one super happy to finally have it it is high frequency from initio this last fragrance i've been interested in for a few months it is a newer release so unfortunately i was not able to get this one on sale <laughs> but i couldn't hold myself back i just i've been stalking this fragrance and i finally just was like just get the fragrance aisha so this is from armani Privé, and this is santal don shah so based on the name santal we know it's a sandalwood scent and that is definitely what i get so i have not worn this one yet but first before we talk about how it smells can we talk about this cute little bottle like it is so cute i don't think i've ever seen these little small bottles of the marnie Privé line this is a 50 ml bottle but to me it looks smaller than that let me see if i can compare it to something so okay this is a nishane 50 ml and this is the armani one and i just feel like it's just so cute y'all anyway <laughs> This is a sandalwood scent, and to me, it's like that fresh sandalwood. So like pencil shaving sandalwood, but it's not sharp. It's very round edges. Um, I feel like there's a slight bit of 
sweetness in here but i wouldn't call this a sweet scent and i also feel like there's uh, some spices in here but overall this fragrance gives me more of a clean woody type scent i have to say it's not doing what i thought it would do i thought it would be a little bit more you know <laughs> but i haven't worn it on skin i do think it's beautiful but i think it's kind of also i don't want to say basic because that always has this negative connotation but it doesn't smell extremely complex it's more on the simple side so i will like i will have to wear this and get back to y'all about what i really think about it but i do think i really like it i think that although it's a woody scent it's one of those woody scents that i can wear during the hot weather which is important for me and yeah i really i really like it i do think it's really well done i just think it's a little bit more so on the simple side but that's okay y'all it's a cute little baby bottle <laughs> And I will have to update y'all once I actually wear this fragrance. So again, that's Santal Don Shah from Armani. So those were the fragrances that I picked up during my no buy. And now I think I'm actually on a low buy, okay? Y'all, I don't expect to be doing another haul anytime soon, but you know, never say never. <laughs> Anyway, if you've tried any of these fragrances, let me know what you think about them, especially the ones that I don't really have too much information on. So like CK, let me know what you think about that. Dior Riviera, Santal Don Shaw. Let me know what you think about those in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I typically upload videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Fridays, or I have tons of content that you can check out on your free time. Also, if you have not already checked out my website, check it out. It's www.simplyaisha.com. Over there, I post about all the things that I love, including fragrance. So definitely check me out over there and get on my email list over there as well. If you want to connect with me more, follow me on Instagram. I'm typically in my stories almost every day and I love to chat with y'all in my DMs. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.